Hey there guys and welcome back. I'm Bo Lorenzen and as you know I've been working with broadcast most of my life and I've lately I've been looking into the 180 VR and the 360 VR and one of the cameras I use at home is a lap pano pilot. However I'm at NAB and I'm visiting lap pano and their new the 3D 180 VR camera is coming up here which is a I'm going to try to move it without breaking anything. So you have the usual two sensors and it's able to produce stereo 180. It's called 3D. It's not really 3D, but it is stereo, which once you put your Google or your Quest headset on, it becomes a camera for each eye. That's the front end. It is using an APC sensor which I'm kind of wondering, it has to be shooting at a pretty small f-stop in order to get to get around the shallow depth of field. But the important thing about this box is that it's able to finish production in box. So it's actually stitching live on board. And if we turn this around, you can see a dongle here, power and a land out, which they are presenting on a couple of Pico headsets right here. Let me put that back down again. And here you see on the back side of the camera, you have the two eyes and you have an interface and a taped over something. Now this is still a prototype. It's gonna be a slightly different actually shipping model. And I am not sure if they can sell it for the price they are talking about. But I do think, considering my EOS that is shooting, my camera that is shooting the bit of video you're looking at right now, is about $5,000, including the stitching and having HDMI out or streaming, is probably worth a lot of money to the right people. The unit here is about four kilograms and powered by an external power supply. So it's obviously intended to be a commercial slash professional production unit. You've got a bunch of mounting part points around it and four kilograms, that's eight pounds. So I'm probably not want to go hiking with this, but I could totally see this being used at events, at an event like concert, live concert, and you can stream, maybe stream multiple of them in the audience to an audience at home or other kind of live events. There's a lot of people at NAB that is doing remote churches and this probably would play really well with a remote church. Um, again, you need to have the budget. So we have a couple of other things I wanna show you here at the lap panel booth, so stay tuned. Here is the other thing I really wanted to show you while hanging out at the lap panel booth. You already seen, I'm sure, or read about on Facebook, the lap panel, the, sorry, the, pi, the lap panel, pilot panel. There you have it, pilot panel. It's in a lot of ways, you'll recognize it as being a kind of run of the mill. It's a twin sphere camera that does a 360. It does 8K 30 frames per second. And it has about an hour battery on board. But while I was talking with Irene about this, she started pulling the thing apart. So if I go up here on the side, pull down the battery latch. And by the way, did you hear that? There is a battery latch here. You can buy additional batteries. So that is the battery right here. That comes out. So you can buy additional batteries. And if the battery starts to get a bit pregnant, it's not gonna destroy your camera because you just pull it out and get a fresh battery. But here's what it got cool. Look at this little device here. So they, this thing can do live streaming, but they wanna be able to do more than a couple of minutes. So here's the live streaming module. Let me make sure I don't drop stuff here. That now comes back in and it goes in like that. I'm not gonna push too hard because if Eileen breaks it, it's her problem. But if I break it, I need to start running. It has a USB-C plug right here. 
So you just plug in and that gives you USB-C power and also feeds your video out. With that on board, you can see this is a whole bunch of cooling fins right here. The cooling fins is what cools the live streaming module. So that's an optional live streaming module. And of course, as always with the lap panel units, they have an onboard Android style interface. Now remember, this is not included. The live streaming module is an option, but the other cool thing, interchangeable batteries, meaning this camera has a longer shelf life than some cameras with permanently installed batteries. So that was the one. There is a couple of other things coming up from lap panel, but I have not been able to get them to tell me about those things. So you can only twist people's arms so far. If you're still watching, please click subscribe, click like, and please share this video with other people, as of course I'm trying to build some audience for 180 VR videos. Dropping stuff.